So, video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can bring an image brush into Affinity. Now, I've got some already I've created here, sort of just a very basic brush. And you can see there one issue with the brush strokes, if they haven't got transparency, is that you can have a white box around. Not so ideal. Most of the files I use for image files have transparency, so something like PNG format is a very good one to have transparency. Now, created one earlier, so just can see the design. How to bring them in. Now, just go to brushes and brushes, you can find view and studio and brushes. And go to the right side there and a new image brush. Just select a file and I'm just going to, these ones are Christmas design. Could be obviously any brush PNG file and these have transparency so you can so I'm just going to select one, click open. Now, just go down there and you can see the brush stroke. Now, you can see it's just defaulted initially to 64. The actual files are about 500 by 500, so you can actually make them greater than that. So, just modify that via, just select the brush tool and just modify the width over here. So you can just make that bigger. So now you can just see them added in there. That's it, just simply bring them in. Now, to obviously modify them, because it's not much good if you just can, you just got that one single brush stroke. So what you can do, just go over there, and, and then go to general, you can modify the size, you can just see the size there. Spacing, hardness, flow, modify, so it fades that way, like that. Modify, shape doesn't have any effect there. Rotation. So you can actually have it rotate like that. Also, other various things like blend modes, etc. Also, dynamics. So you can actually jitter the size. So you can just see, now yeah, you can see some variation there. And texture. So you can actually add more than one brush nozzle. So if you've got brush nozzles there, you can say add, and you can bring another one in as well. So you can just select that. I'm not going to do that there, but it can be modified. Also, you can add a texture to it as well. That's another option. Okay, so there's design, just simply apply like that. Now, obviously you can then vary the brush and later some as well. You can still just modify it simply over there or just go and select another brush here as well, which again is an image brush that's been brought in. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.